This is a short introductory video to uh, tell the work of Mbuyu.org and afterward a little bit of how it got started. For those who have received a link asking them to come see this, I should start out by saying that the digitization of the National Archives of Burundi is underway. It has been since January of 2022. It was the result of some trips that I made to East Africa in 2021. And those trips also led to the creation of mbuyu.org. M-B-U-Y-U is a Swahili word meaning the baobab tree, considered in the lore of East Africa to be a tree of life. And we like to think of our mbuyu.org as the way to trees of lives, because our mission is to bring the records of Africa to the public, to the peoples of those places, and to research. So that's what's going on. Uh, Mbuyu.org has on its own, through me largely as chief content creator and genealogist, uh, gathered thousands of images of historical records independently of the independent of the con uh, the the project underway in Burundi it was while in Burundi in 2021 that I made some relationships and worked with an archivist there who was very interested in preserving the records of his country and committed myself and later mbuyu.org committed to support the effort to digitize those records. That archivist presented a proposal to the government authorities there, and they approved it because we made a commitment to monetize their holdings once digitized. To make the effort self-sustaining, mbuyu.org reserved the right to publish the index of those things that are digitized in Burundi. We believe that if we do it right in Burundi, that the other nations of the East African community will agree to do the same. Those are Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, who joined in the past year, and if they can, South Sudan. We also believe that these efforts will serve as a model to other countries around the world and that we just might be able to reverse what is happening, and that is the largely unsuccessful effort by persons around the world, persons and organizations, to enter East Africa or Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa as a whole, and come away with digital images by making deals or arrangements or contracts when perhaps the correct model is to offer to help them earn from the valuable resources that they hold. And indeed, they are valuable. If you've come here because you've received a link understand that that's all you really need to see. In just a moment, I'll start to talk about the history of how this happened. But for now, let me just say that it doesn't take a terrible lot of money to keep this going in Burundi, to get it right, as I said, but it takes more than we can sustain. And we're looking for participants, affiliates, supporters, contributors, we're working on becoming a 501c3, but it hasn't happened yet. So we're looking for philanthropists, persons who care about Africa and its peoples, persons with money who have ancestry in Africa. And now about the history. I retired from the US State Department's Foreign Service in 2018. All my life, all my adult life, I've been interested in genealogy, helping people find their ancestors. And as I traveled around in my diplomatic career, I went to places where I always arrived with the question, what records do they have that the people themselves can get to? 
And whether it was Cambodia or Pakistan or the DRC or Cyprus or others, I often found that the people of those countries had limited access to limited records. And I'm from a country where just about every kind of record imaginable is available for just about as far as I care to see it until they're just not. Uh, my own ancestry can be taken back three, four centuries, not three or four generations. And so it was that in each place, I looked for resources and was surprised to find that they exist. So it was when I retired in 2018, having already produced some resources for the DRC and for Cyprus, I began to hope that I could do the same for other underserved parts of the world. And by underserved, let me take a moment to explain. Ancestry.com and MyHeritage.com are the two largest commercial genealogical organizations in the world, and they are doing almost nothing about Africa. You can even ask them because I did. I asked the uh, representative of uh, MyHeritage.com a couple of years back, what are you doing about Africa? And he said, nothing really because there's no demand. And I didn't say so, but I was thinking that's because there's no content. No one is going to subscribe to a information service, a jumble of databases that has nothing to offer them. So let's get some content, I thought, and I would look for resources and begin to gather them. And I did that for a few months in Burundi, later in Tanzania and have looked for resources and found them online and uh, uh, can say with confidence that I can provide a lot of genealogical information about African countries, particularly Sub-Saharan. But to get to those records in Burundi would take a long, long time if you were to sift through for those that are inherently biographical or genealogical in nature. So I thought, why don't we just go after them all? And I contacted an archivist in Burundi. His name is Jean Bosco Ntungirimana. He's a great man, a fine archivist, well known in his country for teaching seminars on uh, records management. And he has written several times, several publications about the terrible state of records in Burundi. So it was that when I met with him in Bujumbura in 2021, he and I were able together to elaborate a plan that we proposed, that he proposed to the government there. And it is that with the support of Mbuyu.org, his organization, the Burundian Ar uh, Association of Archivists, Librarians and Documentarists, known as Abad Bu, would and now is uh, would digitize and now is digitizing the National Archives of Burundi wall to wall, top to bottom, left to right, every document in there. Hundreds of thousands of images have already been taken and we will continue until done. And we will continue beyond that because as is the case in most nations of Sub-Saharan Africa, the National Archives aren't like we think of the uh, British Archives or the National Archives and Records Administration in the United States, they're simply collections of whatever these good intended archivists have been able to save in spite of little attention from their hierarchy and a poor budget. So after we get all of the physical collections of the National Archives digitized, we will invite other offices that have not contributed their records to those National Archives to have them digitized and share in the monetization and the revenue that will come from them. We believe that revenue will come from the sale of subscriptions to departments of African studies at universities around the world and similar organizations, researchers uh, and, uh, and societies. That's what we're doing. Again, we are not yet a 501c3. I'll let you know when we are. Um, and it is go ongoing 
but we need monetary help, so this is an appeal, go to mbuyu.org, M-B-U-Y-U. We have just begin, begun to build the online library with the images that I took in Burundi. Soon we'll also put on the images that I took in Tanzania. And then we will have the growing index as images from Burundi begin to go on a separate site, which will be the Digital National Archives of Burundi. Uh, we'll put what's necessary for you to donate or contact us to participate, to assist, and to support this great effort. Again, my name is Matt Ellsworth. I'm the chief genealogist and content creator for mbuyu.org, and I thank you for your attention.